Now, uh, friends, this is one more problem from no paper and pen series. Uh, what is the remainder when 997, 996, 997, 996, 997, 996 is divided by 997? The first clue which I am getting uh, from here is just look at the number. You will be getting the combinations 997, 996, 997, 996, 997 and 996, right? Now, uh, we have discussed one thing various times. If I divide, suppose... Uh, I have to divide a plus b by an x by x and I have to find out the remainder then I can do what I can do is I find the remainder when a is divided by x I find the remainder when b is divided by x then if I add them I can get the overall remainder when a plus b is divided by x right so precisely remainder when a plus b is divided by x is equal to remainder when a is divided by x plus remainder when b is divided by x the same funda i'll be using over here right one thing that's first important thing now you must be wondering how i am getting this addition sign because i am having a continuous numbers continuous digits so how i am getting this addition sign right so the first concept is this the second concept it is i just see 997 and how many zeros are there 1 2 3 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. So it is 997 uh, into 10 raised to power 15 plus 996 into 10 raised to power. Uh, then 15 out of this 15, the 3 are deducted. So it's 10 raised to 12 plus 997 into 10 raised to power 9 till you'll be getting 996. Okay, 996, the last one. So this number can be converted to this, but that you don't have to write. That concept you must be knowing. Now, once you know this concept and this concept, our problem or our solution starts, right? Now we don't have to use much paper and pen. In fact, if you don't want to use paper and pen, it would be really great. Okay, now this expression, if I divide by 997, right, I start from here, just I'm just not writing down this, it is just for the explanation, uh, just wish to explain the concept to you, that's why I have written down this, otherwise it's not at all required, 997 and I have counted, these are 15 uh, zeros after that, right, now 997 into 10 is to power 15, if I divide by 997, the remainder will be 0, so from here I'll be getting the remainder as 0, right, now this is 996, Okay, 996 into 10 is to power 12. Now, 996 into 10 is to power 12 or what I can see is 996 into 1000 raised to 4, right, into 1000 raised to 4. Now, when 996 is divided by 997, the remainder will be minus 1, right, and when 1000 uh, raised to 4, 1000 is divided by 997, the remainder will be minus 3. So, minus 3 raised to 4 because 1000 raised to 4. So, minus 3 raised to 4, that is uh, 81 only. Okay. So, it is minus 1 into 81. So, the final remainder is minus 81 from this. Again, from here, the remainder will be 0. Now, again, we have 996 into 1000 square right so 996 the remainder is minus 1 and into 1000 square the remainder will be 9 right so it is minus 9 okay so from here we get getting the remainder from uh, minus 81 from here we'll be getting the remainder is minus 9 and from here we'll be getting the remainder is minus 1 okay now as i've already discussed we have to add up all the remainder so minus 81 minus 9 that is minus 90 and that is minus 1 so minus 91 is the remainder if this expression is divided by 997 minus 91 is the remainder but we want the remainder to be positive so we'll deduct this 91 from 997 so we'll be getting 906 as the remainder okay so how much paperwork is required if you know this concept and this concept this much work only is required and after some practice even you don't have to write all these also okay so that's pretty simple question interesting and uh, conceptual question just revise this uh, this portion once again if you are not clear for the first time